Hello friends, welcome to my channel and in today's video we will learn about authentication in microservices using JWT. We will also learn about JWT in a lot detail, what it is, what information does it contain, what role does it play and about the signing process of a JWT using a public and private keys and how do we use a public key to verify the signature of a JWT and how in the microservices environments when the request goes from the client to the authentication server via the API gateway and then to the different microservices via the API gateway what is the flow of the JWT taken from where it goes from where it is verified and how does the authentication work in the complete system that we will learn today let's get started so we will learn about JWT authentication in Microsoft. First of all, we will learn what is a JWT. This is a sample JWT token, how it looks. And you can see it is divided into three parts separated by dots. First part is the header. Second part is the payload. And the third part is the signature of the JWT token. These three parts are separated by the dot. Now there is a website JWT.io. If you use this website, you can decode, verify and generate JWT token. So when we try to decode this JWT using this website JWT.io, this is what we get. This is all the information that is contained in the JWT token. So here you can see HS5 to 6 is the algorithm. JWT is the token type. Then it contains payload, which is the custom data that we have set inside the JWT token. You can set anything, ID, name, email, whatever you want. And then it contains the signature detail, what type of signature is used to sign this JWT. Now let's talk about public and private key. There are two sets of keys which are used to sign a JWT to verify its authenticity. If a JWT is signed, it can be verified whether it is an authentic JWT or not. Whenever we want to sign a JWT, we need a public, we need a set of public and private key both. But whenever we want to verify the JWT, for example, at API gateway level in a microservices environment, a JWT is verified many times. So in that case, we just need the public key for verification purpose. A public key is sufficient to verify the signature of a JWT. So now let's try to understand how the request flows in a microservices environment and how is the JWT generated and verified. You can see in this diagram we have our clients, we have our API gateway, we have our authentication server and we have a set of services customer order and product service. So first of all, when we try to log in into the systems, we call the login API, which is a public API, and we pass our ID and password to it. This request goes to the API gateway. This is the post request. And then the API gateway sends this request to the authentication server, where after verifying the ID and password, it generates a JWT token for us and returns the JWT token as a response for the login request. Now further, if we try to access any of the microservices, what we need to do is we need to pass this JWT as a header in our request. For example, if we are trying to access the customer service, this request goes to the API gateway and then this request is first verified at the API gateway level. Using the public key, it is verified whether it is a valid JWT or not. And also it checks from the payload whether this JWT has authorization to access the customer service or not. After the verification is successful, then only it is allowed to access the customer service. And then we receive the response from the customer service, which the API gateway forwards back to the client or returns to the client. And then well, let's take another example. For example, if you want to call order service, Again, we need to send our JWT as part of the header and it will again get verified using the private public key. And then this request to Google will go to the order service. So suppose now that the order service requires to call the product service. Again, the order service will hit the API gateway URL of the product service. And then, you know, 
again re-verification of JW theory was happened whether this JWT has access to the product service or, or not and after the veri verification has ap happened the product service will get called and the response will be returned to the API gateway which will then be returned to the other service and it which will collate the responses of its own and product service and return to the end client and this is you know how, how authentication happens in the microservice environment where we have communication between multiple service what is the role of jwt basically apart from authentication it also carries claims whether which user is allowed to access which all services what all rights it have and after the verification of jwt and verifying the claims the particular web resource is called and 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 the resource is called using the api gateway url and api gateway redirects the request to the particular service this is how the request and response model works with authentication using a jwt token in microservices friends that's all for this video i hope you would have liked this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to our channel for more such videos now if you want to know about api gateway filters do check out this video